Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ayu ala habbati fillah giving thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a shukr a shukr khalis in lillah is by praising him and worshipping him by giving all praise to him at the expense of everything else in creation and worshiping him at the ex uh, alone at the expense of everything else in creation this is part of the tafsir of imam ibn jarir at tabar at tabar at tabar rahimallah ta'ala and it's a reminder to give thanks and appreciate your Lord. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for not appreciating His ni'mah truly by worshipping Him and Him alone, freeing our lives from shirk and freeing ourselves from ma'asi and dhanub. Because when we commit sins, we are in fact doing the opposite of showing thanks. You don't show thanks to someone by disobeying them and doing things that harm them. This is with the creation. But with the Creator, you do not show thanks to Him by being disobedient to His commands. These are things He hates, He dislikes, He detests, although they only hurt yourself and they only hurt the other people involved in your life, your lives. And they hurt the creation, but they don't hurt the Khalik, the one who created. He's free from us. He's not in need of us. But we're in need of Him. And we're in need of His ni'mah and His ni'am. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we can have the Kareem. وَمَا بِكُمْ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ And there isn't, you don't have any blessing or any ni'mah except that it's from Allah. Imam Sin'ani said, وَإِذَا كَانَ لَا يَسْتَحِكْ شَيْئٍ مِنَ الْحَمْدِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ فَقَدْ عَلِمَ مَنْ ذَلِكَ أَنَّهُ لَا يَسْتَحِكْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ غَيْرِهِ شَيْءٍ مِنَ الْعِبَادَةِ He said, Rahmatullah alayhi, He said, and if there is nothing or no one who deserves alhamd, the full praise, Complete and absolute praise that only belongs to Allah. Alhamdulillah. We don't say Alhamdulillah Fulan. Alhamdulillah so and so. We say Alhamdulillah. All the praise belongs to Allah. If it is, if only Allah Azza wa Jal is mustahik for this, is rightfully deserving of this, only Allah, then know that as much so that he is the only one worthy of anything from ibadah, that all ibadah goes to Allah Azza wa Jal. This is what all the prophets were upon. They all called to Tawheed in the worship of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. This is a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters to prioritize ourselves, that everything we do should be for Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. We strive to give up things, our sins, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We strive to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing those things he, He's pleased with. Ibadah, worship, prayer. Our prayer is to Allah. Our supplication is to Allah. Our sacrifice is to Allah. In the salati wa nusuki wa mahyayi wa mahyayi wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen la sharikam. All ibadah is to Allah. Allah created us for that, for worshiping Him and Him alone. 
وما خلقت الجن والانس الا ليعبدون I have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was on a a donkey with Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, illustrating for us the humbleness of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And he said, "Ya Mu'adh, tadri ma haqq Allah ali ibadi." Oh Mu'adh, do you know what the right of Allah is upon His servant? And what's the right of the servant upon Allah? He said, Allah wa Rasulu wa'ala. He said, Allah and His Messenger know best. He said, Haqqullah al ibadi in ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bi shayin. The right of Allah upon His servant is that he wor- the, the servant worships Him and Him alone and does not associate any partner with Him. Tawheed. And the right of the servant upon Allah that only Allah gives this right, of course, and no one can enforce this upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that he will not punish the one who has complete tawheed, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all their actions and their worship worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone they won't be punished and la yu'adhiba man la yushiku bi shayin ayyad habitu fillah strive your best to remember your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala loving what he loves and disliking what he dislikes from sinfulness and wickedness loving those people he loves like the ulama, the scholars because they know the religion. They propagate the religion. They preserve the religion. Rahimahumullah jami'in. Wa hafadhumullah ahya minhum. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.